last period we have seen that the some of the terms which are related with application of uh, stationary wave and we are up to that point where we have seen the definitions of harmonics and overtones now today we are going to see the one of the important definition or the term which is called as octave octave means it is the tone whose frequency is double the fundamental frequency octave means it is the tone which is having double the frequency that of fundamental frequency now if fundamental frequency is n1 then n2 n2 is octave n2 is octave of that fundamental frequency that is n1 n1 is the fundamental frequency it means that n2 is a octave of that fundamental frequency similarly one of the example is that n2 is equal to 2 raised to 3 of n1 it means that n2 n2 is octave of 2 raised to 3 of that fundamental frequency and similarly we can find out n2 is equal to 2 raised to n or n1 again we are going to see that it is the octave of 2 raised to n it means that octave octave is a tone which is having the double the frequency of fundamental frequency and most likely we are going to use this term in the you know for tuning for which is given and we have to find out the fundamental frequency or the octave frequency the next point is that now the term many times we are going to see the term which is known as unison generally unison means the same time period same time period that is if two bodies are vibrating and they are in the unison it means that the two bodies having the same frequencies or the two bodies they are vibrating with the same frequencies therefore unison the term which is related with the bodies which are going to vibrate with the same frequencies and the term resonance it is also used the phenomenon of making to vibrate a body with its natural frequency under the influence of another vibrating body with the same frequency is called resonance these are the some of the terms which are related with the application of stationary wave and just for you to remember that or remind that the term octave the unison and the resonance most likely to be used in the problems again we are moving to next point that is a vibration of strain vibration of a string now see there what happens whenever we are going to vibrate a string under the application of a force it means that the string it is plugged when it is in between two rigid supports just for the sake of understanding we are going to draw this figure these are the two rigid supports in between a string it is 
stretch it. And if we are going to pluck this uh, string exactly at the middle, then it can be seen that it is going to vibrate like this. Due to persistence of vision, we are going to see there is the formation of a loop. A loop is formed within this range because it is not going to happen the string it is uh, at the higher level whereas at the same time it is going to be at that lower level but still we are going to see that there is a formation of loop because we have the persistence of vision it means that a picture a figure it is uh, persistent to our eyes for some seconds of the time and therefore before that there is the moving of the object and therefore we are going to see the vibrations which are in the form of loop now again we are going to relate the some term for that vibration of the string let's suppose that this string having length is equal to L it is the under the application of uh, force of the tension T and the mass per unit length of wire is M. These are the sub terms we have to know that. Consider that a wire of length L which is under the tension of T and the wire which is having the mass per unit length that is equal to small M. Then if we are going to calculate the velocity of a wave which is travelling through that string which is given by this equation number 1 where is the velocity? velocity with which? velocity of sound in which the string in that string we are going to see that velocity and it is having values equal to under root t by m where t is the applied tension m, m is the mass per unit length now again the same can be happen the same the same can be happen to the musical instrument musical instruments are also going to vibrate with this velocity that is velocity of sound and the number of oscillations or vibrations the same musical instrument can produce the number of notes the vibration corresponding to each note is called a mode there are number of modes 